<laughs> right. Well, no pregnancy is the same. It can be different from person to person or different for the same person. Yeah, you mean two different pregnancies can be different for the same woman? Is that what you're telling me? All right. Uh, in this week's Parenting and Pregnancy, we take a look at how genetic testing has evolved to help families prepare for new babies. Most pregnancies are considered low risk, but some can be considered high risk. We take care of women with um, high risk pregnancies, and that could either be a pre-existing maternal condition, um, something that comes up during the pregnancy, like preterm labor or ruptured membranes, or a problem that could be developing with the baby. So we do a lot of ultrasound and prenatal diagnosis. This also includes moms with high blood pressure, chronic kidney disease, underlying heart problems, or moms expecting twins or triplets. Because we do a lot of um, complex ultrasounds, so fetal echocardiograms and you know, the twin twin transfusion checks. We do Doppler, you know, the blood flow studies and those things. So we need the best machines possible, and so we have those even for our screening exams. There are also different screening tests that can be conducted. Pan-ethnic carrier screens can find things passed down through families. Most common one we see is cystic fibrosis. So women don't, or families don't have to have a history of a problem because they can carry it in their genes and they just have that, have that perfect match to marrying the right person um, and have a chance that the baby could be affected. Chromosomal screens can look for abnormalities in the baby's chromosomes. So the most common um, chromosomal problems of extra copies of chromosomes like 21, 18, and 13, 21, which is Down syndrome, um, they compromise about 70% of all chromosomal problems. So there's some really nice screening tests if people want information about that to assess the risk in pregnancy. Screening is optional, but Dr. Clausen says it can help families have a better birthing plan. One of my main things is where is it safest to deliver? And we have a lot of resources here at Riverbend. We have the NICU, we have pediatric, pediatric surgery, we have pediatric cardiology. Um, but there are some conditions that need to be delivered up in Portland where they have pediatric neurosurgery or other um, specialties that we don't have.